Hola, Carol Ann here. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so excited about this week's featured ingredient, Crafts Cooking Cream, the Santa Fe Blend. And what I'm going to make for you tonight with the Santa Fe Blend is a carnitas quesadilla with a dipping sauce. I'm going to be using just leftover ingredients from my fridge and from I have my pantry. Two cups of pulled pork left over. I'm going to be using three large flour tortillas, one cup of Mexican blend four cheeses, one cup of enchilada sauce, one cup, a half a cup of black beans, one cup of tomato trinity, and what tomato trinity is is just chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, and peppers combined, a half a cup of corn, and our featured ingredient, Santa Fe Blend. Let's get started. The first started. thing that we want to do is to warm up our leftover pulled pork. So I'm going to come over here to my saute pan, turn it up a little bit, and add my pork to the pan. And what I want to do is just get that nice and warmed up so that when I prepare my quesadillas, this will be ready. Just turn that up a little bit more. And I'm going to take half of my tomato trinity and I'm also going to combine that with this. And then I'm going to save half of this to put into my dip. And what I'm going to do is just get a medium saucepan. I'm going to turn that on and to my saucepan I am going to add my one cup of enchilada sauce corn my half a cup of corn my half a cup of black beans The rest of my Trinity mix. And of course, one half of my Santa Fe Blend cooking cream. I'm going to use a little over a half. Some of this cooking cream I'm going to be putting into um, on my quesadillas. So I want to just hold back just a little bit of that so that I can spread on my quesadilla. Okay. Okay, we're back. And I have warmed up our uh, pulled pork. And now we're going to go ahead and build our quesadillas. Now, you don't need a special pan to do your quesadillas in. Um, I am just going to be using a regular grill pan with a press. If you don't have a grill pan, you can just use a regular frying pan and then take another pan and put on top of it. So, the first thing that I need to do is just to warm up my quesad uh, to warm up my tortillas so that they'll be easy to work with. Are warmed up. And we're going to start building our quesadilla. This is going to be really simple. I'm going to take one quesadilla, one, I'm sorry, one tortilla, and I am going to spread some of this wonderful goodness onto this tortilla just as a flavor enhancer to our pull pork and now I'm going to oh that looks delicious doesn't it spread a little of my pulled pork and you notice that I'm only applying half of my ingredients onto the quesadilla because uh, onto the tortilla because I am going to actually show you a quick and easy way to to make your quesadilla 
Okay, I'm gonna get some of these peppers and onions. This absolutely looks delicious. And we just wanna spread that out like so. And then I'm going to take some of my four cheese Mexican blend and I'm gonna spread that on top. Just like that. Then I'm going to fold my tortilla in half. Then take my spatula, come over here and put it into my grill pan and then put my press on top and sort of mash it down and we're going to keep our eye on this but we're going to have nice grill marks. It's going to seal the tortilla and the mixture. Okay, I'm going to now remove our last quesadilla that we have um, in my grill pan. And you can see the beautiful grill marks and just um, showing you how this really looks. I'm going to bring it over here now on my board and I am going to cut the triangles to make our little quesadilla wedges. This is smelling so good. I love working with the Philadelphia cooking cream. It's good for leftovers for sure or for recipes that you have planned to make. But this is a good recipe here that you can use when you have leftover meat. It doesn't have to be pork. It could be chicken. It could be beef. I love making quesadillas. So now I have my quesadillas sliced and they are looking good. I'm going to put them on my plate, get my dipping sauce ready, and I will be back with you in just a few moments. And that just shows us how versatile the cooking cream is. It allows you to put it into recipes with leftovers or recipes that you are creating wow. from the beginning. Let's see here. Let's get one, get a plate here. Look at that. That absolutely looks delicious. And I'm going to take a little bit of my sauce with black beans and the cooking cream, corn, tomatoes, and let's try it. Mm. To talk and eat at the same time is not very good. We've been taught with manners not to do this, but the rich bowl flavor of this dipping sauce made with the Santa Fe, Santa Fe blend cooking cream is absolutely delicious. Really, really good. Okay. Thank you so much Kraft for allowing me to help introduce and launch the new Philadelphia cooking cream.